Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sparrowhawk 3 gyroplane kit is back in production. Robinson adds new options. And the FAA awards STC to Aspen Avionics. Welcome to your Friday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Skylar Vanell. American Auto Gyro International has announced they will restart the production of the Sparrowhawk 3 quick build kit. The original Sparrowhawk was introduced around the time the home-built gyroplane kit industry had a bad reputation for accidents. The Sparrowhawk was able to correct the design flaws, making it a safer aircraft by introducing the centerline thrust. This innovation has since been adopted by other manufacturers, making the industry safer. The company says they have seen an increase in interest among consumers. Coming up after the break, we'll take you around the patch. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. The Boeing 787 marked a major milestone with their 787 Dreamliner to come off the production line. Since its introduction in 2011, the 787 family has flown nearly 300 million people on more than 1.5 million flights around the globe. The FAA is investigating a crash that happened last Friday around 1 p.m. at the Willow Run Airport in Ispilanti, Michigan. Detroit Flying Cars founder Sanjay Daw was hurt when the WD-1 experimental vehicle unexpectedly became airborne during a taxi test and crashed. The owner of the aircraft was taken to an area hospital where he was treated for his injuries. He was the only person on board and he is expected to make a full recovery. New regulations were passed last week by the Montana Fish and Wildlife Commission that prohibits hunters from using drones to track and film their hunts. The use of UAVs to locate animals on the same day as a hunt and to drive them to specific locations is strictly prohibited. A drone cannot be used to film a hunt. The commission passed the new regulations as concerns were raised by the wildlife managers about fair chase standards and ethics. A&N brings you a series of interviews with Avolution. We checked out their innovative panels for general aviation airplanes. You can watch the full interview on our YouTube page under Innovation by Evolution. That wraps up our trip around the patch. Robinson Helicopters brings us Avidyne, the IFD 400 series, to their line of civil helicopters. They added the touchscreen GPS navigators to its R22, R44, and R66 avionic options. The 400 series may be operated by either touchscreen or traditional buttons and knobs. The IFD is installed in the helicopter's lower center console or in the pilot's side console. It can be used with an iPad over Wi-Fi and features a 4.8 inch display when it's used with their IFD 100 app. The iPad can mirror the display or as an independent display capable of controlling the IFD. The app is free and available in the App Store. When we return, the FAA awards STC to Aspen Avionics for the Evolution E5 EFI. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. The FAA has awarded a supplemental type certificate to Aspen Avionics for the Evolution E5 dual electronic flight instrument. 
In April, they introduced the new device at the AEA annual convention. The STC non-TSO Evolution E5 consolidates attitude indicator, digital gyro, and course deviation indicator into a single display. It also has a built-in rechargeable backup battery. With redesigned electronics and new glass, the E5 has a bolder and brighter display, and it offers more reliability. The display includes GPSS, Air Data Computer, and Adhars. Designed as a drop-in, non-TSO replacement for traditional mechanical vacuum instruments, the E5 also interfaces with most legacy autopilots. The E5 can be upgraded to the EFD-1000 Pro Max Series primary flight display. The configuration allows features to be easily set for specific flight needs. You can add additional options without replacing the unit. The E5 is configurable, upgradable, and affordable. Prices start around $5,000. Well, that wraps up our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Tuesdays, you can catch Airborne Unmanned, and on Thursday, the AMA Drone Report. Follow us on social media for real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation news stories, or check us out at aero-news.net. From everyone here at Airborne Unlimited, happy holidays, and we'll see you back next week.